Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and today I'm going to try to help you with the Bronsted-Lowry Acid Base Worksheet. So this is the worksheet tutorial. So remember that when you're talking about Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases, the model is that an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. So if we look here at the equilibrium with water interacting with itself, we could also call this the self-ionization of water, what we're looking at here is where the proton goes. So I like to call this follow the bouncing proton. So here's my proton, and I'm going to show this proton going from this water to this water. So that means this one is acting as a Bronsted acid because it is a proton donor. And this water is acting as a Bronsted base because it is the so-called proton acceptor. And remember that these are equilibriums. So this is a reversible reaction that takes place. So in the reverse direction, we're going to follow the proton again. And the proton is now going to go from this hydronium ion over to the hydroxide ion. So in this case, this species is my conjugate acid. It has one more proton than its base counterpart. And in this case, the hydroxide ion is acting as the acceptor. So this is the conjugate base. And the conjugate base has one less proton than its acid counterpart. So that would be the first example. I'm going to do another example of one of these Bronsted Lowry follow the bouncing protons. So in this reaction, I have phosphoric acid interacting with water. So we're going to follow the proton. And you can tell where it's going to go because on this side of the equation, there's three protons, and on this side, there's two. So let's follow the proton. So it's going to go from the phosphoric acid to this water. That means that the phosphoric acid here is acting as the Bronsted acid. And water, in this case, is acting as the Bronsted base. Now remember, water can act as a base or an acid, depending on what it's interacting with, making it amphoteric. That means the ability to act as an acid or a base. Now, in the reverse direction, this reaction, so again, notice in this species, there are three protons here. This is dihydrogen phosphate, two protons. Here, the water is just water. Over here, it's protonated water, so it's the hydronium ion. So following in the reverse direction, the proton's going to go from here back over to the dihydrogen phosphate. So in this case, the hydronium ion is acting as the acid. So again, this is the conjugate acid, one more proton than its base counterpart. And then here, the dihydrogen phosphate is acting as the proton acceptor. So it's acting as the base. We label it conjugate base because it has one less proton than its acid counterpart. Okay, so now I wanted to do the conjugate acid base pairs worksheet. And this has a table. There are three columns. There's the acid column, which will have one more proton than the base column. And then there's the equation. So this first one, we have the chloride ion. And so its acid column will have one more H. So we've thrown an H on there. And you'll notice that the charge went from minus 1 to 0 because H plus plus Cl minus is neutral. Here's the equation that goes with it. So HCl breaks apart in water to H plus and Cl minus. Our second column, I have the dihydrogen phosphate ion with a charge of minus 1. And that is going to have a base with one less hydrogen. So notice, instead of two, there's one. So my charge went from negative one to negative two. And so now my equation would be dihydrogen phosphate breaks apart to H plus and HPO4 minus. I'd like to point out here that the net charge on each side of the arrows has to be the same. So here it's neutral, plus one, minus one, neutral. 
Here it's minus 1, plus 1, minus 2, minus 1. That matches. So let's look at the third example. So here we have a water, which means that in this column we're going to have one less hydrogen, which would be OH minus. So notice one less hydrogen. Since you lost an H plus, it went from being neutral to a charge of minus 1. So now here's my equation, neutral on this side, neutral on this side. H2O breaks apart to an H plus and an OH minus. So hopefully you'll have um, the ability to complete the rest of this worksheet. I will be making another tutorial about pH and pOH uh, calculations soon. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.